Hi, let's introduce you to Slide Merge add-on for Google Sheets and Google Slides. The add-on lets you to merge your Google Sheet data to create beautiful presentations or PDF files, either as a separate files or as a combined single file with many slide pages. I have the student information with the student ID, first name, last name, date of birth, gender, grade, address, phone number, email, enrollment date, major accomplishments, photo, and the GPA. I have the photo with some of them with the direct URL of the images and some with drive images. My objective is to create a slide file with every row to form a page. To begin, I open extensions, sheet to slide merge, and I click start. Okay, here, choose the sheet name as sheet one. And my header row starts from row one, and that's why it has one. Do you have images to replace during the merge? Yes, I do have images to replace, and they are in the column, either as a GP image and the photo image. I click yes, and here in the image URL, I choose photo and the title. Title is a name that appears if the photo isn't loaded in your presentation. So I prefer using the first name as a title. Add another image, and this will be a GPA image. Choose GPA, it's the score. So let me explain how I build the GPA image. I have a GPA tab which has the star images for every rating except one. And these images, I use the VLOOKUP formula and draw the images for the corresponding GPA scores in the end column. And this is how I have the GPA images. And for the photo, there are direct links and some with the Google Drive. So the prerequisite is you know to, uh, you have to go to the concern folder, share the folder in such a way that's anyone with the link and a weaver because we do not use invasive permissions to access your Google Drive. And that's the reason you need to share or make the files, photo files, anyone with the link. You can either include the permissions for the folder or you can navigate individual files, select and then share. It doesn't mean the app is using your photos, but to access it just needs anyone with the link with the Viva permission. Now come back here and I click next. The next step is to choose the slide template. I have a partially built template and in the template I have markers. And these markers are nothing but the header names of the corresponding field variables or the columns those are surrounded with the double curly braces. If you would like to use insert use or insert markers, you can also open a tool for inserting markers, which is a part of sheet to slide merge add-on. Open it and select the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is nothing but your database. I choose your database, which is nothing but a sheet called Sheet to Slide Merge, in my case. Now I choose Sheet 1. The header row is 1. 
I make a click here. Now choose the column as major. And the marker is inserted here. Since we have some photos to insert and the star ratings of the students or the GPA ratings, I create a placeholder for inserting the images. I go to Insert Image. I search the web for a dotted image. Insert. Now let me insert here. I do not want a large area covering the text. So I crop I crop the image and another placeholder image. Let me choose any image works here. And I place the student photos here. So these are called as the placeholder images. And these will be replaced with the actual student photos. But you need to identify or make it sure that these are the placeholder images. You may be having other images as well, but exclusively for the add-on to understand, click on this, you may right click Click Format Options, R Text, and here put a marker. If this is a photo, then you will have a marker. And you are done. Come here. Come here. And good Format Options. This should be GPA image. We can make your lives easier. Just go to add on and choose your same spreadsheet. If you are already open, just keep it open for inserting the image placeholders. Select the image here. If you'd like to have a GPA image here, just select the image and choose GPA image. The image already has a marker photo. Do you want to replace the GPA image? I choose S. So in this case, the GPA rating images will be placed here. And here you can prefer to have the foot. But in my case, this is a bigger image. So I wish to have a student photo. Yes. Here, GP image. So you don't have to go to format options and then write the mark. The tool does the job for you. If you have any other image, select the image and choose your marker. Your image will be identified as a marker and the add-on does the job. Now come back here, choose your slide template. Your slide template is here. And I choose the destination folder, student photos, file name with the name of the first name, 
with the last name. Just to be Google Slides, I have two options. Either I can combine it with combine all the rows to one presentation or a new presentation. Let me show you how the new presentation works. I click next. Now choose two or three students or large number of students. I choose a few of them. Row two of them seven. I click here to select the rows. And now I click merge. In the background, you see the files are being created. The first file is Alice Johnson and the photo image is inserted along with all the information from the sheets. The second presentation is ready. Third is ready. The merge is completed now. I click OK. When I check the folder, Alice Johnson, Emily Walker, Isabella Lee. OK, these slides are being merged. Now my next preference is to merge all the slides a single file. In this case, I choose merge all rules into one presentation. I click next, but with let's try with next set of people and now click merge. But here I would like to have a different file name. All combined. With the spreadsheet name. The spreadsheet name is see the slide merge. I click merge and let's see how it goes. Merge complete and the destination folder VVM merge file. I click OK. You can see the links. Your destination folder is here. Click the icon here to open the destination folder. It says all combined, sheet to slide merge, and now I open to have all the four rows merged into one single presentation file. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for your time. Bye.